What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Vusi Max. Welcome back to Vusi Supreme Traders. In today's video, you already know what's going on, man. It's watch list Sunday, so I already got a watch list for you guys ready. So we're gonna take a look at what happened to last week's trades. And if you if this is your first time watching like uh the channel, then you should know that I have a WhatsApp group, a free WhatsApp group. I'm gonna put the link in the first comment, the first pinned comment, the link to that is to the WhatsApp group, it's free. I'm gonna send everything I analyze, I'm gonna send it there also, just so like, you know, it's easier for you to like, even if you didn't watch the video or you missed, the, like you didn't get time to watch the video, you can get the screenshots of the setups and stuff like that. So I hope you guys do, you guys are doing good. I'm doing good, just a little bit cold, but there's nothing to complain about, you know what I'm saying? So smash the subscribe button, comment, like the video, and listen 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 i got the euro usd i got the gbp usd i got the what's the other one i got the nzt usd and i think there's something i'm missing the nest 100 never would i ever miss nest 100 so it's nest 100 euro usd nzt usd and the gbp usd uh, so let's kick it <laughs> Alright, so first things first, right? We're gonna start with the NAS one handle. Alright, so with this one, I'm not really gonna do an analysis of this one because I wanna see the market open and I wanna see like how the price behaves on monday and stuff like that but as you can see we had a trade if you peeped last week's analysis which included the nest 100 also i gave a, a signal to say as soon as the price if i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit i said as soon as the price if we look at it in the h4 time frame as soon as the price crossed the reversal trend line which is this one and this was the first candlestick that did so no matter which, which time frame but you had to wait for a candlestick close right so this is where the trade was open this is where i opened the trade so everybody in my whatsapp group i'm sure they opened the trade somewhere in this region here and they had the tp there right and the sl was there so what had happened was you can pretty like tell it like last week was a weird one because we didn't get like in momentum we didn't get that kind of momentum we didn't get enough momentum i mean i mean the price was pushing up steadily but the momentum wasn't there to kind of like you know to kind of like show that this pair would would continue to make new highs and stuff like that so when we got to the previous resistance zone now which was this one that's where we started to see a decline in the price and i really got out after this candlestick closed after the first candlestick closed and if you're still holding this one i would just advise you to close it as soon as the market opens because i don't know it's it's not really promising that like the price is gonna make a higher low and then push back up because it just it's just looking like we might be in a correction phase because this high was the same area as this one so we can pretty much see the price moving sideways at this point right but at least we know we managed to make a little something from this this market so that's all that's that that i'm gonna cover or touch with this one and like i said if you want to see the full analysis of how we came down to this conclusion then you're gonna have to want to go back to the old video that i'm gonna put in the link uh in the that i'm gonna put the link in the description box below too right so at the moment just like leave close the trade if you haven't closed the trade and secure whichever amount you have secured because here it's you know it's ridiculous to make a lot of like it's not ridiculous but it's possible to make a ridiculous amount of money just by a small move when it comes to next 100 so for those of you who are trading with jp markets i know you made a killing from this side so let's go to the next one so the next pair that we got or the next pair that i want us to look at before we go into the watch list right because i like we made a recap of what happened to last week's trades right nest 100 was winning you would have made enough if you followed that one 
but if you like if you were in my whatsapp group that you then you know what i'm talking about but if you're not then man i don't know what you're doing dog so uh, let's continue with this one we got the gbp usd that we looked at last week and we were hoping to get a higher low there right so the reversal line was there to show us when the higher low was thing when the higher low basically had formed and it was time to buy into strength and we did that and we like kind of got we kind of got some momentum at the beginning as the price picked up but we failed to kind of get to the higher we failed to make a higher low and to basically make i was hoping to see con like the price make contact with the trend line there which is the major trend line but we, we didn't and then the the, the price kind of like broke down right and then it went straight straight for the sl but it's all good because you see the the risk to reward ratio is always ridiculous with my trade so i never panic even when i hit the sl and my my thing is like i'm always looking for the for the earliest for the earliest sign to exit the trade so i never hold on to a loss any longer than i should and basically i want to show you why this at the moment i'm not looking forward to i'm not looking forward to really you know buying this or selling this in the coming weeks although it does seem like there's momentum to the downside but i'm still not like looking forward to to selling this one so i'm, I'm just gonna pass on this one but i want you guys to look at the uh, daily time frame because i think there's a lesson you can learn there right so look so looking at the daily time frame dog right looking at the daily time frame we can see we had a major trend line there right and like it would have been interesting to see the price really like go to the major trend line and see how the price was going to react when it get there but would obviously we had a breakdown and then now the price is moving like this so what i want you to like notice is how like this was when ever since march right in March, the price was here. And then now, a couple of months later, we're back at the same spot. So this basically means the price is moving sideways, right? At least there, where we where we were buying, it seemed like a, a nice area for a retest and a nice opportunity for the buyers to take over this market and to start seeing bullish momentum. But like, as you can see, after a rejection of that or after the price failing to do that, we can like... Damn, the cars are loud. It's, it's, it's pretty clear that you know this is one that we should stay away from so this one i'm really like living out right I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not gonna be trading this one or whatever i'm just gonna you know lift this one out and then i want you to look at uh the euro usd let's so let's go to the euro usd right now all right so this is what's up with the euro usd you can pretty you can see pretty much the you can see pretty much the basically the formation of how everything is going where the ascending channel right there and then with this major trend line which we rejected there and then the price has been going down ever since then right so now the thing is you want to look at i want us to zoom in right and i'm not gonna like i reanalyze this whole thing over again because it's there in the previous video in the previous analysis so just 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 check them out i'm gonna put the link to the description in there I'll put the link in the description, all right? So you can go check how we analyze this and everything like that. Because, listen, we're not keeping this one long. So let's just go into the H4 time frame so I can show you what, like, what's going on right now. All right, so what had happened was, right, if we're looking at it from the H4 time frame, I really didn't want to, like, I didn't, I didn't sell this pair, right? I didn't sell this pair because the movement of how, like, it's everything has been going on with this one it wasn't satisfactory for me to feel like i can put my money in it i need like usually i don't i don't just like open a trade based on the structure i also like base it on the setup and where i can possibly get the the best entry so with this one i really didn't catch that spot where it would have been like the best thing to do to like catch an entry so i just let this one slide but i'm gonna draw two trend lines which are gonna basically show you what's going on now right this is what i want you to pay attention to right so when you when you look at the movement that's going on here you can see that we kind of have a uh it's not a rising wedge it's a it's a wedge formation and this usually is a continuation pattern but it's not guaranteed to be a continuation pattern right because and, and not everything is guaranteed in, in forex you know what i'm saying so continuation pattern means if the process has been like buying into strength like that and then it, it gets into it like this sort of like correction pattern it means that 
the price is going to break out to the upside and then continue with the trend that was in set or in place just before the you know the correctional phase or whatever so what's going on now here is obviously we've been testing the lower the lower trend line for the, for this wedge pattern right we've tested it once twice three times now right and we might see the price break below and i'm only gonna sell this this pair né? i'm only gonna sell this pair if i see the price break below this zone right here right if i see like some h4 candlestick close push below the the, the green trend line then that's when i might look into into sell but for me to buy i it means i gotta wait for the trend line to actually cross this line like it did in the nest 100 nest 100 and the gbp usd you want to wait for confirmation you don't want to just like buy as soon as possible so this one i'm also going to send into the whatsapp group and then i'm going to like show show my people how to like trade this one if it does what we want it to do and stuff like that so this one might be a good sell because as you can see we had a rising we had a rising channel right so with the rising channel it means if we break below this this zone then we might expect to see the price come to a support zone or to the trend line here so there's going to be enough there's going to be more than enough pips to to like make bank you understand what i'm saying so that's it for the euro usd to catch the full to first to catch the full setup make sure you click in the the whatsapp link like i said family the whatsapp link is what i'm talking about so the whatsapp link is going to take you to my free whatsapp group and then that's where you're going to get all these setups and stuff like that i found so let's go to the next one the next pair that we're going to look at is the uh nzd usd right with, so with the nzd usd we do have this trend line for a very fine trend line that we that i've drawn there and if you want to draw this i think it's also in the previous analysis videos but i'm gonna just let you know because it's not anything hectic you're gonna just want to draw it start your trend line from the 24th july 2017 that week that's where you want to start your trend line align it to the current price and then now you're gonna see that what's what's happening now is the price is very close to the trend line but we have a a reversal line there right and then it's kind of like we have a we have a rising wedge pattern but i, I have to see, show you the horizon wedge in the daily time frame so this is the rising wedge pattern this day in the in the daily time frame you can see that uh, i did say it was a continuation pattern and here basically we had a break we had a breakout on the on the it was supposed to continue the trend and break out on the downside right but it didn't instead it broke out to the upside which is why i say when it comes to continuation patterns don't use them as a as a signal to say that like to or to already like predict that the price is going to break out to this side or this side just because the your just because your 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 pattern or what do you call these things you call them your chat patterns are saying that if we have a rising wedge it means the trend the trend is going to continue downwards or whatever it's never guaranteed right you have to trade objectively not just like believe or fall into like everything that you hear out, outside in the streets right so i'm not gonna like go go deeper into what i'm saying that's gonna be a whole nother video but check this out where the price is at now it's either we're gonna see a rejection of this we're gonna see the price test out this level and then push back up to the trend line or we're gonna see a breakdown right and then a further breakdown of this level so even if we reject this i'm gonna start buying into strength and hopefully we can take it to the trend line but if we have a breakdown i'm gonna sell you understand i'm gonna sell and then i'm gonna sell further as it crosses this trend line because if we do cross out if we do cross the, or break below the blue trend line it means expect the price to like make lower lows and at least come back to this base level here right so i think we can look at it in the h42 so in the h4 time frame it's basically like more of the same thing you might just look at the h4 time frame for the for the entry points right but i think you don't really need to consider the h4 time frame like before you like start looking for an entry and we're not yet at this level and we're not yet at this level or at this level also so only look at the h4 time frame once we start to like get to once we start to make contact with this trend line here and see or uh like look at how the price is reacting and stuff like that but like i said this is all gonna be in the 
WhatsApp group, fam. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the content content helpful. And if you did, you remember, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, or, or you know, what I'm saying that kind of good stuff. Cause you know, you know what I'm saying. This will be about me. So listen, I'm gonna have uh, more videos coming through during the week. I want to tackle uh, like emotional trading and psychological things in trading. So I'm gonna be doing that this week. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna stay tuned like subscribe and thank you for watching i right? stay awesome